Welcome to Deep Thought, the reality warping power of the media. Ah, I'm going to tell you what, there are three things that really shape people's behavior. Three things. Um, government, by the different laws they pass, the rules that they pass to try to uh, keep people fenced in. They say, hey, you can't do this, you can't do that. That's shaping behavior. That's shaping behavior. Indeed, there's some definite political things I could talk about now, but I purposely don't talk about politics here. Uh, but, and then there's religion. Religion. Religion, you know, we can talk about the spiritual aspects and doctrines, but it shapes behavior. But then there's media. Like media warps reality, the reality of it. I'll give you an example, I'll give you an example. And this is kind of stuff that's talked about on my relationship channels. Well, channels only do one of them right this minute, but just the idea of beauty and what's considered beautiful. Like a media, they can present a man like men and women and they'll say, oh, they're beautiful and present them in situations where they're winning, they're mating and everything. And, you know, people think, oh, wow, I have to look like that to get a mate. And this is why this is reality warping. Now, you can look at like, say you watch some of these movies and TV shows, you got the uh, uh, very physically attractive man. Uh, people will call him the Chad, and he's getting a very beautiful woman and everything. And it, it you know, and people are think, oh, well, I gotta look like that. And women are think they gotta look like that to get a happy relationship. But this is why, consciously, they know that's a bow. Consciously, they know this is just something that was written, it was entertaining. Subconsciously, your subconscious don't know the difference. Your subconscious takes in everything around it as realistic. That's the thing, it takes in everything. So when it's watching something on the TV screen, the movie screen, it's taking it as realistic. So people will think, oh, I got, if I don't look like that, and it hits them subconsciously, I don't get a mate. But it's warping the reality. Most people don't look like that, even the actors. You know, when you take off their makeup, like with the women, you, there's been so many times you would take off the makeup and they look average. They look average. In fact, a famous actress, a legendary actress, Marilyn Monroe, I read where she, she would like take off all her makeup, wear ordinary clothes and go to bars and stuff and actually delight that nobody recognized her. But the reality, the media presented her is a different way. Or even some of these guys that, you know, they'll call them chads and everything. Oh, you got to look like that to get a woman. But they don't talk about how they got to like really train hard and eat a certain way just for that part. But usually when they're not in those parts, they look totally different. But that's, you know, that's one way. Another way, and OK, I'm going to have to get a little political, just a little. And this is uh, specifically about race, how black people are presented in the media. Usually, usually, it's presented like the lower elements. Like people say, oh, black people are like that, all oh, black people are like that. And if you question them, it's like, well, how many have you lived around? Even other black people, unfortunately. How many have you lived around who behave like that? Because usually if there's some trouble on the news, you see the picture of that black person or they being shown in like uh, lower, um, lower circumstances. I'll just use that term. And OK, they, that's one perception. Like the media is always going to present one angle no matter what, but it won't present the other angle. Once again, using race, they don't show the black people that are living in like uh, not even just solid middle class, but upper middle class and even upper class environments, then they do exist. They do exist. I mean, anybody who's uh, like lived in the state of Maryland and some of the communities in Charles County, 
uh, Maryland, the richest black county, and then uh, the Prince George is the second richest black county. There's a lot of homes that if you saw the homes, you don't, they're usually not presented in the media or that level of education or the level of how they just interact every day. Only certain images are presented of people, you know? Or, I'm like, hey, look, I'll get a little political. Immigration, immigration. They'll present the poorer people who are coming into the country and try to say they're doing this or that, but then they don't present the educated people who are coming in. I mean, they're they, they coming in with like serious education, money, building, starting businesses. Like they're coming in starting businesses, restaurants and everything, and actually contributing to the economy. See, the media will only present certain images, certain things, certain behaviors. And what it does is a programming tool. I mean, if you look at TV, let's just be real. It's a tool for propaganda. It's a tool for propaganda. In fact, I remember a guy who had, uh, I had met who had worked for the, an alphabet intelligence agency. And he said, hey, it's just propaganda. It's just propaganda. Like certain people, groups of people will be presented in a certain way, you know, a negative way, certain situations. They won't say everything. When they do the news, regardless whether it's right, right leaning, left leaning, center leaning, is always a certain perspective. And you know, they'll say, look, you can only talk about this. And then when people, like when I watch the news personally, I, I watch everything. I'll look at everything and say, okay, they're saying this, but they saying this. And then I, I, I try to dig for the truth. Because in fact, when I watch the news, I always look at the commercials. I've talked about that before. What are they presenting? Because then you want to present a certain image to sell something. Like, um, um, like if they're selling an outdoor grill. They sell an outdoor grill and they present a, a very beautiful person like doing something or they presenting, I don't know, something. They're trying to sell something. Subliminally, they're saying, oh, if you buy this product, you can get this beautiful person. See, that's the thing. And it's, uh, it's a manipulation. It could be for political purposes. Uh, um, Political purposes, present a philosophy, economic especially. They want you to buy their stuff. And it really, it really changes how people do stuff. They think, oh, I have to do this. And it's like, what? Based on what? Based on what? You know? That's why I take even uh, stuff on social media. I'm how often are people manipulated into thinking someone looks a certain way or they only they receive some information about something going on. And, you know, it sounds official, but, you know, it can be in a foreign intelligence agency. It's like you can present whatever image and, you know, you have actors and it's, it's not really true, but it's warping the reality. And like I said, you can consciously know it's some bullshit. But your subconscious is still taking it in. In fact, to the point, whenever I see anything, I consciously say, uh-huh, yeah, why are they doing that? I, I send a critical thought with it so it goes in with whatever I see. I question it. I question it. Then it goes into my subconscious as, uh, it might be some bullshit. But that's the thing. And it, like media, like you can change, I'm going to tell you how powerful it is. You can change how a whole population behaves just through the media. In fact, I read something about uh, in um, communist China when Mao Zedong was, uh, you know, doing his revolution. He had gathered a bunch of writers and artists and everything to present certain images in order to uh, influence the people. That's how powerful it is. Indeed, in many countries, when they have a military coup, they overthrow the government. They'll go for the writers first. They'll go for journalists first. People who can influence others. That's how powerful it is. I want y'all to think about that. 
all right? So, really think about that. And I'll get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings. <laughs>